Hey guys, Matt here from Rec Brewery. Got a beer review today. Um, this is the uh, Hoppy Blondale that Dennis and I brewed back in June. Um, it was like towards the end of June. So this is a couple months old now. And I just wanted to cam up and get, get, a, get a review going while it was still mostly fresh. Um, before, you know, a lot of the hops uh, kind of dies off. Um, I did do, um, we did, so the recipe, it was uh, two row white wheat, honey, and I put some melanoidin in there um, to kind of off balance because I think I think Dennis did all honey, uh, eight ounces of honey, and I split it because I didn't have enough honey, so I put melanoidin in there. I read that that was a good substitute for it, so I figured I would try that. Um, went pretty pretty uh, basic on the water profile. We put some salts in there to kind of help uh, amp up the hops, so more on the uh, the sulfates, um, you know, in this to kind of help bring those out. Um, I use the Maniacal Berserker yeast. I'm not 100% sure which one uh, Dennis used. We, we always try to change something in there so we have something to compare. Um, we haven't sent each other the beers just yet to compare them, but I, I just wanted to get through and, and try this. I've been sipping on this, um, you know, for the last few weeks. It's, it's a very uh, easy beer to drink and um, it was a real real nice beer to, uh, to share. Everyone that I've uh, shared it with so far, friends and family have absolutely loved this. In fact, they, they kind of, um, one of them told me that it was akin to like a, like a yingling. So I found that very interesting. Um, I can kind of see that there's a little more character to this than, 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 a, than your standard yingling lager, I think, just because of the sultana. Sultana is supposed to bring in, I believe, uh, pineapple, pine, and some citrus notes. And um, we put a lot in here. Uh, I did, it was a, almost a quarter ounce of Sultana at 60 minutes and eight ounces of it in, uh, in a Whirlpool. And um, yeah, let's see what we have here. It's, um, it's got a great, uh, great nose to it. It's, you know, it smells like, it actually kind of smells like a lager. And it's got a nice hop presence to it. Um, not picking up like any kind of pineapple or anything. It's, I'm definitely getting some of that pine and, uh, and some citrus notes. Let's dive in, cheers. Yeah, it's a very tasty beer. Um, you know, it's not it's not bitter at all. Um, matter of fact, it might be, um, might taste a bit on the sweeter side. Uh, it did finish low, so you would think it would be pretty dry. And uh, it's not as dry as the uh, Final Gravity came out. It came out at 10.05 at the end. Um, it started off at 10.45, so this is uh, like a five and a half, or five and a quarter percenter. Um, but it's not, I mean, there's, there's probably a little bit of dryness to it, but it's not as dry as that's leading on. Yeah, it's really, really nice. This is great beer. Good time to make this. Was It's been a summer crusher. It's been very hot here in the 90s forever, it feels like. And uh, this is a really nice, refreshing beer to have, so... Thank you, Dennis, for brewing with this with me. It's been, it was an absolute pleasure to do that. Always fun, good times. I uh, got some footage at the end of this for you guys to check out. Um, I am personally calling this one Astrid's Veal. It's kind of a, a bit of a, a word play on some of the things that went into this beer. You know, it's Kavike yeast, uh, it's a blonde ale, uh, and, uh, and it has the Sultana uh, hops in there. So I kind of just messed around with some wording on that. And um, I can some already and I've, and I've shared with some friends and family and uh, to kind of go along with the word playing I always try to put something on the can Let's see if I can get that to focus it's got a it's got a Viking check on there with a veil I don't know if that wants that's not there we go <laughs> yeah just uh, having a little too much fun I guess and then there you go collaboration with Woodshed Brewing. So I got a couple of these to send out to Dennis and, uh, and I'll wait to get his in as well and then I can, I can look at them side by side. I'll, I'll do another video on that. Um, but yeah, this was nice and uh, you know enjoy the footage on that. So I just wanna give a shout out to our sponsors. Thank you for sponsoring us at the BrewTubers. Um, we have Yakima Valley Hops, Beer and Wine Hobby, Five Star Chemicals, Brewers Hardware, and Imperial Yeast. And every one of them goes into our craft every day. So thank you so much. And come join the fun here at BrewTubers, BrewTubers.com. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.
right, I'm gonna get ready to mash in. I'm doing the same. I'm ready too. I just heard the uh, the elements kick off. Perfect. We're in good timing today. Yeah. All right, another brew day, making a blonde ale, using up some more of our hops. Mashed in there. I'm gonna have to buy grains. I didn't realize that I'm, uh, when I went down to grab my grains, I was like, holy cow, I am out of a lot of stuff down here. I was like, geez, there's, I guess I gotta do a little, little re-upping here. That's what I, that's what I did last week. I, I, I went in, cause I've been brewing a lot in the last month yeah. and I was like, Oh, I'm actually out of, I'm running out of two row. That's not good. Yeah. That's... So I figured I looked through everything else. I'm like, okay, I'm a little low on this, a little low on this. I just picked up a bunch of stuff. That's kind of where I'm at right now. Yep. <laughs> I was like, that's not good. I'm going to, I'm going to be getting on zoom with uh, Dennis. And go, oh, well, I'm going to be brewing something else today because I don't have the two row. <laughs> But yeah, we're we're all good now. The only the only adjustment I did make to the recipe, and I talked to you about this before, um, I didn't have, and I don't have a need for it anytime soon, so I didn't buy any more. Um, I didn't have the full eight ounces of honey malt. Oh, so uh, I put in, so I, I put in, I put in four ounces of honey malt. That's what I had left. Okay. And I put the other four ounces in a melanoidin. I heard that oh. it's similar. Okay. It's a good substitute for honey malt. I've been I've been reading, so we'll try it. Figure it out. Just got done measuring out the hops. We're using the uh, Sultana hops from Hopsteiner that we got uh, a couple years ago in one of our experiments. There you go, look at that. Eight ounces fits perfectly in a mason jar. All right, bittering charge. We got 0.22 ounces of the Sultana. The boil started now, go ahead and start this timer. I was just fooling around with it, so that's why the numbers are off here. Oops. There we go, 60 minutes on the clock. It's whirlpool time. Eight ounces of Sultana. Boom. Always something. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Kids are getting rowdy in there. Yep. I think they're they're getting hungry. I already ordered the pizza, so. <laughs> but I just uh, I just put in the whirlpool hops. It's doing its thing now. Fifteen minutes. Nice. Maintaining that one sixty five temperature. So far, so good here as well. Yes, sir. I got my uh, got my keg sitting in some star sand, right, waiting to receive. That's what I was out there doing. With, that's when I overshot. That's what I was trying to do: is get my keg star sand and ready to go. Yep. Oh snap! I forgot the uh, got the world flock in the yeast yeast tree. <laughs> Oops. Whoops. Yeah. What are you gonna do, right? Probably a little late to put it in now. Yeah. Okay, about 1046. So a couple points below what I was aiming for, but that's fine. Just filling up the keg now. And then we have the uh, Berserker we're going with this time. And we got this dialed in at 10 PSI. I don't know if I showed this before, but this is how I clean out the uh, the chiller after the wort's gone through it. Give it a good rinse from the garden hose. Just got a little adapter there that I use to adapt to the half inch NPT. Works well. My wife just called me for dinner, so I gotta head out. So yeah, we're I'm done here too. I'm just I'm just uh, rinsing out the kettle one more time, and I'm good to go too. So. Yeah, right, dinner's, well, dinner see. just got here myself a few minutes oh, ago, so. Good timing. Pizza night, yeah. right? <laughs> That's right. Well, it's been a pleasure. With the, uh, with the app and see how things go and see how things take off, all right? All right. All right, sir. Have a great evening. Thanks for, for uh, getting up early for me today. 
Yes, sir. Thank you. It's been a lot of fun. Keep me Absolutely. up to date. I'd like to know how yours is going, too. Absolutely. All right, man. Have a good night. You too. Take care. Seems to be holding pressure at 13.